who missed 23 games a year ago with injury, but basically doubled his scoring average from his rookie season. I love when it works out like that. They actually make us look good. And we're talking about it, and he happens to hit a fadeaway, you mean? Absolutely. Here's Durant. Nice feed, and the jam by Damian. Durant having TV shows and doing things as far as that's concerned with his agent, Rich Pun. Steph Curry getting involved with TV and things outside of basketball. It's an unbelievable time impact that these guys are making across the board. Yes, yeah, speaking of that, Mark, Kevin Durant won the NBA Cares Community Assist Award for his contributions to the community as Caldwell Polk gets the 12 rebounds here. Curry leaning in, draws contact, and won't get the bounce, but he'll... I hit that half-court shot in a preseason game. I look at the coach too and say, I'm done. Yeah, that's game. <laughs> As Paul Pierce once famously said. McGee puts it on the floor. Curry reaches in. Rondo goes behind the back and turns it over. But look at Beasley. He's got those long arms and big hands able to bat it away. What do you think will be the Warriors? We talked earlier about how difficult it is to three-peat. What will be their biggest challenge this year, do you think? Is it when DeMarcus Cousins comes back and a famer? I mean, after putting up with Bill for 20 years, <laughs> it's got to be Luke, right? I mean, are you? <laughs> I mean, both of you guys have been around Bill for a long time. There is a, a sense of brotherhood between uh, the two of us, in fact. I one time was greeted with a hug and just saying I, I, I'm and, it, and one thing you didn't mention being coached by Lou Olson in college with great players being coached by Phil Jackson in the pros and how he handled great players I mean, watching situation and you can tell he's not a hundred percent right now he's getting stronger and stronger but certainly not there the next step for me as I think about it watching him on the floor is the shooting but even more so is his ability to play pick and roll. I don't see that in this offense, and I think that could be a weapon that he can take advantage of. In today's game, you have to be able to be a threat in pick and rolls. Look at the great teams. They carry the offense at times out of pick and roll. Looney misfires, and Ball able to keep it alive until it's secured by Jonathan Williams. McKaylet with a spot up three way off the mark. But then Ball gets the steal. Feeds Beasley. Baseline cut off. It's an offensive win a first round series against Portland. He's on his fifth team in five years, signed a one year deal with the Lakers. Cook through the lane. No, Looney keeps it alive, but batted out of there by Kuzma. Now Ball gets it ahead to Beasley. Beasley, normally terrific at the rim, couldn't finish. And you know, to clarify, I'm not just specifically only talking about Rondo and Lonzo, I'm talking about across the board. These are these are messages that you send to everybody not named LeBron James. I mean, he's going to finish games without question. He's going to be on the floor. Now let's fight for the next best guys and then trust my decision. Turnover as Ball makes the play, gets it back, gives it up again. Kuzma to Stevenson. Stevenson can't knock it down, but hustles and a loose ball foul is. LeBron, those are three guys that's going to be on the floor, in my opinion, to finish most ball games. And rightfully, one day, I mean, these fans have been great, and certainly this is a, a place that can handle an NBA franchise. Well, we are in the home right now of the Vegas Golden Knights, who made it to the Stanley Cup Finals last year. Yeah. As